Ooh, who's telling you all my secrets? <laughs> it's the secret stuff. So they said it, it, there's a sign on all the doors that says uh, the champ today. You know what's funny? That was here from the Academy. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Previously here, actually. Was that so Runs cool? all through RSL. Oh. So, um, so it really plays into the one Utah mindset. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it, I, obviously that is something that you want to carry on for this team. For sure. Um, where does that come from? And I guess um, how, how are you trying to go about it? Mm, that's so funny you brought that up, but um, no, it's no secret that I wanted to come here and win championships. Um, if you know me, I don't do anything laissez-faire or average. Um, I'm not about baseline, right? I'm all about crushing those, those goals and reaching as far as I can. Um, and I'm trying to instill that in this team. And when we put together the roster, we put together people who had won or wanted to win and knew how to do it. Um, and that's going to be our goal this year. And then as, as we've talked to all these players, I feel like we've noticed a lot of common threads, common elements of their personalities, all very lively, um, kind, passionate individuals. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, this is a very intentional roster building. What, what are some of those things, I guess, that you, that you wanted in these players? And how have you seen that just in the first few days as you have actually gotten them on the field and gotten to know them in the team setting and all that kind of stuff? No coach has ever gotten to handpick every single player on a roster. Sometimes you adopt a team and you adopt a culture and you adopt a style of play. That is not something that um, we did here. We, we got to do the most amazing and wonderful soccer project that I've ever been a part of where I started a team from scratch. I built it from the ground up. Um, we had a team of people who worked tirelessly in data analytics and film analysis to, you know, try to um, acquire players that had specific qualities and talents on the field. Um, and then I came in and, and went for players who had the stuff that is um, intangible, the things that hopefully are going to win us a championship this year. And um, like I said, it was. It was a huge project, but um, very intentional and detail-oriented, and I think we'll see the benefit when we see these players out on the field. Am I happy with the plans? With the roster. And with the roster? roster? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think uh, anyone more, or, or it's okay? I will say the Royals, will always be a work in progress. I've told the players that from the beginning. Um, we are an expansion team where we have to see what players um, are compatible, what sort of collaborations we can find both on and off the field with players. So I wouldn't say that um, you know our roster is, is solidified today. We're going to, like I said, be a, a, a work in progress and, and continue to refine our, our little details. Um, and that may be bringing in future Royals players. How was for you the first week as a coach training as a professional? Like, how was like the most inter interesting part for you? Um, a really special part is that right now we are at the facility with all of the Utah family. So we've got RSL, the Monarchs, the Academy, and ourselves. Um, we're all under one roof, and you can see and feel that synergy amongst the group. And I think that's something special that I've never experienced before. Um, there is a champion mindset throughout the entire club and the organization. Um, and you really feel that walking into training every day. And um, for me as a coach, the, the first week has been a lot about learning my players. Several of them I have known, either from my years in the NWSL, um, played with them, coached them. Um, I feel very lucky that I'm getting the opportunity that I have, but uh, a lot of this week has been learning about my, my players and developing those relationships. She talked also with Samantha during the season. Yeah. Uh, she was talking with us about her experience. Uh, she knows many things about soccer development of in youth, soccer development for, of, for the players. Um, how excited you are for playing this uh, whole rookie during the season because I probably will say that it, this is like the youngest uh, roster in the league. I don't know if we have the youngest roster in the league, I but I do. I'm not sure the facts right now. 
We need to fact check that. Um, yeah, no, that's okay. Um, it was intentional to bring in a young roster. I wanted players who are hungry um, with a high ceiling. Um, we always look at players with um, high potential. Where can we get them to? My, my main goal as a coach is to make my players better. And so to have a young roster in here, ones that are hungry, willing to work hard, are humble, um, that's exactly the, the platform you want as a coach. And we hope we can take them to amazing heights. Do you have like a plan for the future, bringing all these coaches and getting more experience to the system? Um, definitely. I think our roster was very intentional and where we brought in seven rookies, um, I believe the average age of our roster is about 24 years old. Um, it was it was very intentional to have the people that we do, and I'm really looking forward to this rookie class. They are exceptional. We've brought in national champions in NCAA. Um, we've brought in some really great pieces, and I think they're just going to add to the mm -hmm. to the depth that we already have. So I mean, you have some good problems going in there. You have a lot of depth in the in this position. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have rookies who are ready to rumble. You have these seasoned veterans who are proven. What's it going to take out of them to kind of rise and, and show themselves to you? How does a player get starting 11? How do they get on the pitch for you as a coach? I love having a competitive roster. I think that's so exciting in training when every day you've got players competing for spots. Um, I've always said that the, the best performer earns, earns the shirt on the day, um, and this team knows that. But I think giving players um, an equal opportunity and the uh, platform to, to go in and win a, a starting spot, especially in the, in the first year where every single player on our roster came in without a starting spot because nobody was here last year, myself included. So I think it adds to a great training environment, which will actually better us in the long run. And on a personal note, is the family here? Everybody settled? Life is good? <laughs> I mean, you're busy, but is life good? I don't know if you can be settled during preseason, ever. <laughs> I think I would spend more time at the training facility than I do my own home. but. Um, yeah, my, my boys are finishing school in California and then hopefully joining me in uh, June when school gets out, um, and my husband as well. Luis, we have to Can you translate? I can translate. I lost it. Is that what your type, your style of football? Is it possession based like yeah. Barcelona? Is it direct like we want to uh, be there? More direct driven? I'm a huge fan of having the ball. I want my team to always be able to keep the ball under pressure and do really well. Um, possession through the thirds, going forward. Um, that was the game that I like to play as a player and how I'm going to instill a style of play in this team. Um, whether, we, whether we are in possession in the defensive third or final third, I hope to be aggressive. I hope to score a lot of goals, um, but always maintain ball security. I think the words that, or the word that came to mind when I first arrived here was wow, as a player. Um, we were treated so differently as professionals when we came here and uh, the community really rallied around us in 2018. Um, and that same word comes back to, to, to me now. I feel like this, this community, this organization, they've really wrapped their arms around us. We're in Royals' second iteration, which feels even bigger and better than the first. Um, and I think because we got to design the team from scratch, there's just there's just an amazing feeling around this this season. Oh, I was just going to ask a really random question too. Did you get a lot of so draft night of the roster starting to really come together because it started in November and mm -hmm. we're here? Were you getting messages from former teammates of people mm -hmm. giving you major props for the way you're building this roster? I've had several friends, coaches former teammates reach out. Um, I think they can get a glimpse of what we're building here. Um, and just like us, they're, they're very excited for this journey.
Thanks, Amy. Thanks, guys. Amy, Amy.